Hello, my little munchkins, my little crones, and my sunflowers. How are you on this fine Wednesday? I should know Wednesday because we get up early in the morning and we dump trash. And baby, we look forward to this. I think what we're going to do, we're going to, we're going to, one day we're just going to go to Dunkin' Donuts. It's so early in the morning when we get up. We don't like doing it at night. I don't know why, but we get up. Baby Crone got herself on one of these cookie ideas. Just she does it in the morning. And we dread it, but we just uh, hop out of bed and we do it. Today, I was looking like a zombie. I was like, <laughs> she was. but I did it. And then when I got outside, honestly, just once a week, early in the morning, we saw the star Venus and the planet yes. Venus. And we breathed in the air. And it was just so lovely. And we was looking for the fast to come out, but there wasn't any. Oh, but enough of that. Enough of that. Well, that's good. I wanted to share something good with you. Why? Because what I'm going to say is not so good. And that is the breaking down of Carly B. That is the name that I'm going to call it. The breaking down of. Um, um, I did a video. But before I get to this, this all to me, we started hearing the really negative things about Carly B during the time of all the accusations with Tasha K. Now, I hate to go back to this because I have to. This is the time where Tasha K was accusing Carly B of the hurt, hurt, and all these others. STDs and, 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 and as a male, he's listening to the life that was before him. I believe that it took a toll on the marriage. Okay. And I believe this is why it was so devastating to her because you're making these accusations and they're lies, lies, and more lies. So five months ago, I did a video. I don't want to do the whole thing because at the time I knew it was offset, but I'm trying to play the devil's advocate. The one thing that I am sure of is back then, that was five months ago. So this incident could have happened just a half a year ago, six months ago. She forgave him as the red horse. She forgave him and she took him back under the skies, you F me up again, it's over. There is no buts, ifs, ands, what? It, it's O-V-E-R. And before I do my new read, let's just look at a clip of my old vid video that was done five months ago. But my thing is, I felt bad about this one. Oh, guys intuitiveness saying she's hurt guys this has devastated her wow how she feel she she done done what you have to say baby clown yeah for real she is done it is like over for her she's just walking away from all of it and if, and if Offset don't do right, she's done. She tired. She just want a man that don't lie and cheat. Okay. So now I can go on. I can go on with my reading because I felt that. I felt that. And actually, I felt this so strongly that I got offended, even though I knew she was going to take him back. This is like, this is the last time. And you mess up, it's over. This is why she's ranting. She's enraged. She's a woman that heart has been stomped. And Tasha K don't know the damage her accusations did. Not trying to begrudge anything. And I'm not saying it's all Tasha K, but she didn't help it. Imagine you're marrying someone, you get married, you both get famous, and all of a sudden you hear his past life. He had her, and he did this, and he did. How would you feel? You would question everything because we're human. 
And that was, that was the beginning opening that we seen of the demise of their marriage. Am I right? Yes. I don't think they've been married long. How many long they've been married, baby crown? Yes, let's see. So I'm going to put her up here as the scarlet woman. Okay. I'm going to put her up as the scarlet woman. Okay. Since 2017. 17. Yes. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. They've been married six years. God dang it. They didn't even make it to the eight year mark. Yeah. Um, you know, mm, I'm kind of confused. Go ahead. Because I'm not sure if Cardi B has filed for a divorce. Yes. Oh, okay. I heard that she has. Why? Because it says that they've been married from September 20th, 2017 to September of 2023. 17, 20, 17. Yes. So they've been married for approximately six years and some months. Mm -hmm. They didn't even, the, 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 the make it line is eight years. Yeah. So even the Kardashian and Kim even went less than eight. She at the seven. Jesus. And I'm, and I'm saying, mm, they could have made it, but he's immature. He, his trust was broken. Mm. And I'm going to tell you how bad it is. He trusted her with the finances. That's why he didn't go to the bank and did what Yeezy did and do all that. Because he never thought that she would go in and take the money out the account. See, this is how he know he pushed her too far. She's ranting. And from what I understand, hey, baby, come on, put a picture. This is supposed to be a lookalike. You got me? Mm -hmm. So, so let's pick up to today. Where are they today? After that rant to see a woman with two kids, she have two kids. A boy and a girl, right? A girl and a boy. Who? Carly B. Who we talking about? Oh, Stay I'm focused. I'm sorry. I was looking up a picture of the girl. Mm-hmm. Okay, she's working. So anyway, let me yes, find... two kids. Two kids. So we're going to find the scarlet. We're going to find the woman that has the skull, the adulterer, the whore, the slut. This is, this is how he treats his wife. When you go out there saying she's not good enough. She's devastated. And, and just as a note, she just, with someone, made a wig. She helped create a wig for some little girl with cancer. I say this because she's really trying to turn her life around. She's really trying to be a citizen. She's really trying to get away and shed that old, that old persona that he keeps tying her to, exposing the children to, excuse me. And she doesn't want that life. It's like, I want better for them, better for us. And he's bringing that filth home. And she's enraged because she love him. But before I read, I have to say this. Sometimes we just have to shed what we used to be attracted to in our former life. You understand? That was what you used to be attracted to. Now your taste buds are changing. Now you want some more caviar. So what we have to learn in life, that old things must die away. So we can move on into our better self. This is not the person you want to be. So let him go. Stop all the ranting. It isn't going to fix anything. Just make him feel more grand. He is what you was. That is what you was attracted to. That is your old life. Step into your new world. And don't be so quick to, to get married. Think about what you do and who you expose your boy and girl to. That's what I'm saying. So we're going to look up at the Scarlet Woman. Did you like that? Yes, I did like that. So I hope, I mean, these cards has been showing up. We had the Scarlet Man. Oh, Lord, that's, I, I was hoping the Scarlet Woman would be right by him. Right by him, Scarlet Woman. The Scarlet Woman. The floozy. <laughs> because that's how he treats her. 
Does that make sense? Yes, it does make sense. You're out there from a life, a life that she's trying to get away from. Whip. Fish. Yep, they were right. Fish. We have the moon. Oh. We have the bear. We have clouds. Ooh, my, my, my. We have a letter. We have um, tulips. Uh, what are these? These are not tulips. Flowers, but they are flowers. They're my favorite lilies. flowers. Lilies. They, they're kind of lilies, but these are my favorite flowers. I, I should know the name of them. And we have a garden. And, and here we put that to the side. And the card that's facing us, from now on, I'm going to start looking at this card. The card that's facing us here would be the tower. All right? And so what we see starting from the tower, we see the scarlet woman has fallen from her tower. It's like she has been raw. Raw than her coming on being depressed. She has been screaming. To me, speaking English and Spanish, ranting, yelling, heart broken. However, this is not something she didn't know. But this is a woman that's saying, I am had enough. This is a woman that's tearing away at the threads and that she's hot. Don't go near her. This is the woman that you could read about in the newspaper. He needs to stay away from her at this moment and let her take a chill and stop a bassy. I mean, that's not the word. And stop messing around with her emotions, flaunting this relationship in her face. Because all this mother bear thinking about a corner is her children. The reputation. Even though this is lucrative, she's like, you're messing with our money. You're doing this stuff. You're hurting our image, our brand. Her emails are blowing up. People asking questions. <clears throat> and the world is watching as you humiliate your family with this lookalike broad. I get, it's like she's saying, I get you hate me. Because this is what this feels like. But she's like, now I'm hating you. You won't stop. She's saying no money. She says no business. She said, because I will fight you. I will whip you and whip you until you stop. And leave me the hell alone and get the hell up out of my life. And she's crying and she's broken. Why? Because this is a whipping her. It's like you're being whipped. It's like I love this man. The dream, everything. She already took him back five months ago, six months ago. He vowed he wouldn't get off the property. He was the knight. He was the red knight. Look back at my reading. He, he, she took him back under, please. I remember feeling that crying like it took hold. Like right now, I'm just feeling rage. This is why I'm saying he needs to leave her alone. Her energy field is strong. So anybody that is intuitive, if you tap into her, you're going to feel a spirit of rage. And yet it's like she's got to be business minded. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. It's like everything she's saying is just coming from her gut. And even though she knows the spotlight is on her, she feels like sometimes a woman got to do what they got to do. It's like, I got to share this, but he brings this, he brings that out in her, that old life. This is why the flowers 
the tulips or lilies, whatever these are, I'm going to find the name. This is who she wants to be. She wants to be a role model for the young. Yes, yeah, she's not ashamed. She's not saying she's ashamed of her life. She's saying, I want my life to smell good. And I don't want the young girls and the young boys to come up the way I had to. There is a better way. And that's what she's trying to do. Change her image, change her persona. And you could see it. You could see it. You know, she's what, 30 years old? Let me look it up. She's And her sign again, cancer? Libra, 31. Oh, yeah. See, she's growing Born older. October 11th. Oh, she's a gateway. Mm -hmm. She's one. Of, oh, she has the spirit of um, intuitiveness, too, because she is a gateway number. October the 11th. Wow. So anyway... So this is what we hear. So, so we see here the spotlight is on her. In her past, it's like she's being whipped. And it's like she knows she got to let it go. The life, the plan, the money, everything, that's just going to have to go. And she understands for a new life. The spotlight is on her and her kids. And things are going to be sweeter once she gets done with that. But she is a mother bear for her kids. She will do whatever she can. No storm going to stop her. And right now, her husband is the storm in her life. He brings tears and sadness while the world as a stage watch the demise of their marriage. She's humiliated all over again. She just gave him a chance. And so what if it, you just give him a chance? This is about six months ago. You turn around and he's doing the same old thing again with the same woman. What is that telling you? She's like, I don't have to deal with it. I hear her saying, I understand what it's like to be that woman. But I'm not that woman today. And I'm not going to accept it. I'm not going to be, it's not going to be okay with me, some woman ride off of my success. Get out here and work like you used to, but you ain't going to get nothing over here from me. So she took his money. Clover. She took it to let whoever you are, don't think you're going to get his money. You can get it once everything is settled, but he's going to take care of home first. See, she's gone back to that way of street thinking. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Take the money out the bank. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. She's raging. But now she know. Her skin is showing. Now she know I must let him go. There is no comeback. Because he's taking me down in the gutter with him. And, and is that saying that calling that, that her husband is a bad, bad man? No, it's just really showing us how immature he is. Another Lamar Odom. Mm -hmm. And a sense of don't respect what you have. You're always thinking that it's better outside your perimeters. And even if it was better, if you didn't see it what you have at home, how are you going to see it if it's standing before you? If you can't see it there and you're looking at it and you have it every day, so you step out your house, what if this was the greatest woman of your life? Do you think you're going to see her or him? No, you still won't see it. And you'll continue to break hearts. But at the end, we all have a cost to pay. Baby Crone, you have any questions? Yes, I do have a couple of questions. Once she get over this, she's going to be okay. But she's going to have to leave the past behind. Yes, I noticed she had a lot of flowers. She had the lilies, the yes. clover, the garden. Oh, uh, thank you, baby Cone. As to represent something died. Oh. As a represent of something died, but I got to make sweet out of this. 
That's like we attended a funeral. This is why there were so many flowers and, and good flowers, flowers of hope, flowers of, of starting over. You all right, baby? Yeah, right. Flowers of hope, flowers of, of starting over again, flowers that it ain't over. You know, she got all of them. It was filled. You're right. It was, thank you, baby. Clone. It was filled with flowers as if we were at a funeral. And here we see this woman languish, but she had already said five months ago, if he do this again, she's done. And to see it, to unravel in this way. Yes. When I literally, it was so strong, I literally cried. Remember that, baby? Yes, girl? I do. And I don't cry often, but when I do, that means I'm feeling it. And right now, I really, really feel the anger, but I feel that it's subsiding. Let's go in and ask some questions. Baby Crone, what is it would you like to know? Yes, my question is... Did you like that reading? Yes, I did. Is Cardi B going to be able to move on? Oh, my goodness, yes. Yes. It's like I won the battle. All she got to do is stop looking back. She won the battle. The battle was her. She won it. She got fire. She's got a lot of energy. She got willpower. She's going to see, he going to see the likes of her. You understand what I'm saying? She's like a new beginning, a lot, a lot of fire. She got to rethink, redo things. She also has got that serpent tied around her neck that she's got around her waist. She's got to release things. She's got a lot of things going on in her mind, but she's got to stay focused. And remember, everything for Carly B is about her kids. So it's like she's on fire. And you see that sound, Amanda? What that really means saying, it appears. So it's like you can burn this house down to the ground and I'm still going to come out on top. She's like, I'm in the battle, but you know what? I'm going to shout now because the battle is over. I won. I'm done. I fought a good fight. I hung in there with you as long as I could. I've done what I could and now I'm done. You see those cups? I got a lot of things, but I'm ready. I don't need you. I made it before you. I'll make it without you. You need me. Woo, she's angry. You have another question? Yes, my Woo, child. My I feel like question. I've been eating hot peppers, hot pepper, like spicy. I feel spicy. My question is, Woo, child. how does Offset feel about this divorce? Okay. Offset, how you feel? Scared? I don't know. I don't know. I took out three cards. Oh. Okay. What? You saw something? No. I haven't seen it I, yet. It was just you picked out three cards. Perfect. Okay. He's chilled. He know his family dynasty and the money and all that. He's got concerns. He got concerns about that. Yeah. And he's the hangman. Right now, he's got somebody there to nourish him as he go through the separation. This is something that he's passive about. He doesn't know if he won it either. He doesn't know. He's passive. He's like, you know, he knows this is a fantasy, a family legacy. He knows. He knows the rules. He knows what he's done, but he's He's still in a separation mode. What do you mean? He's a hangman. It's like he's dying inwardly towards. This is hurting him, believe it or not. This is hurting him. But I think that he don't want to be married. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like he doesn't want to fight. He doesn't want to live that way. He, you know, even though, help me explain what I'm seeing. Even though. He's on a sabbatical inwardly. He doesn't want to let the legacy go, the family they were built. This is very hard for him because this is their investment, their life. This is what they were doing. They were good together. They were a duo. They sang together. They made music together. They collabed together. All of that is going to go away. This is something that weighs heavily 
And so much so that it makes him separate himself spiritually. Remember at the beginning of his read, you see here he's laying, he's chill. But now you know why. Because of the family dynamics, his kids, his little boy, his little girl, everything. He is a what? A Sagittarius. So you know this, what's his birthday? December 14th. So you know this way, it's heavy on him. He's a five, but he also know he come with conflict. And this is where you have to separate the boys for the men. He's just immature. Okay. He's still dealing with his lower chakras, his lower nature. He still don't know how. It's like all things look better from the outside. Inwardly, he feels trapped. Even though he's not trapped. So when you see that 12, You see that separation. You understand what I mean? It's like he stands alone. Dealing with this. But this is not easy on him either. And my mind saying the woman that he is with, when it all said and done, he probably wind up not being with her. She's just a transition. This is what I'm getting. You have another question? Yes, my next question is, how is Cardi B feeling about her kids? Yeah, I know she's trying to do this all for her kids. I hate to do this because this is a woman and I told you she love her kids. Why don't you just say, I don't have nothing else to ask for <laughs> silly stuff. And then I could help. But how Cardi B feel about her kids? Just off the bat. It's pure innocence. It's love. She see those kids as innocent. She doesn't want anything to happen to them. And yet she's watching the breakdown of her marriage, knowing that it's going to affect culture. It's going to affect cultures close to her daddy. This is sad. This is horrible. Because this is real. She can't trust him now. It's like, you broke everything. Mm -hmm. I mean, she's walking through the house, probably crashing. She's you broke ev everything. It's broken. And now it's the innocence of our children. She feels like a fool in love. What was the question? How does Thank you for asking that. How does she feel about her children? She feel about her children. Okay. She gonna work. She gonna hustle. She said, I'm gonna bring home the bacon. I'm gonna do what I gotta do. My children will not suffer. I am going to work. If I got to work the vineyard myself, if I got to hire helpers, I'm going to do what I got to do because I don't need no deadbeat. I can pick up a hoe and work myself. Light goes on. Light goes on. I still got to eat. My, the rent got, I mean, I still got to eat. Maybe they have a mortgage. I still got to pay rent, gas, not, not rent, but I got to pay gas and electric. I still got to pay cable. I still got everything got to go on. And she's like, I'm ready. I can bring home the bacon. And if I have to fry it in the pan, I will. But she's got a lot of support there with her family. I see her mother is a very strong support. Is her mother strong support in her life? I believe so. I don't, I don't know, but I just get her mother. Let me see. Let me see. This is something weird that I'm pulling out. Yes, her mother state likes to keep in the background. Her mother keeps in the background, so I got to get two more cards. So that's her mother. That watches everything. Her mother must be very spiritual. In a sense, you know. 
Let me take this. Yes. Her mother sees all. Her mother is water, young. Not Her mother is not as, like for the spotlight. She doesn't, this may not be the right word. She's not made for that. You understand what I mean? She mm -hmm. likes being in the background. She's the spiritual part of Carly B. She likes to stay in the background. But she is there with her daughter's support. I don't know about her mother. What do they say about her mother? Um, that's a good question. I just know Cardi B likes to consult her mom sometimes. Yeah. Her mother got a chat. Uh, that's it. I was trying to figure out. Okay, I get it. There's somebody there with her all the time, like her mother's spirit. Her mother's spirit is like her inspiration. And I kept on figuring out, why would the couple page? Mm -hmm. Because she's childlike. In other words, her mother have an innocence about her. When she, when she delivers her answer. It's like she tries to do it. Like I try to do, keep it young, keep it fresh. Her mother don't appear. Her mother seems like a wise woman, but young at heart. That's the best way I could describe well, it. Her mom is fifty nine. Okay. And okay. I'm looking up her zodiac sign. Okay. Okay. Uh, and a Virgo. Okay. Very motherly. Mm hmm. Very spiritual. Mm hmm. She got her daughter back. She's there for. Her. Mm -hmm. But she keeps out of the limelight. This is her daughter. She keeps out of it. Okay, so, all right. So I guess that's it, huh? Yeah. I drifted off somewhere. Where did I go? Or did I just go to Carly B. Mother? That's where. Yes, yeah, so he was. He was really thinking about Cardi B's mom. It just took me off of her, and it took me to. That's her strength. That's her hiding place. That, you know, her mother got her back. Her mother sees all, know all. And her mother is like that innocence, that child, like, that trying to bring her out of this place. To give her another way to look at it. But I have a question. Is Carly B. really done with her set this time? That's a good one. I'm going out. No. This is it. Is Carly B really done with our upset? Eight. I'm just talking about strength. Talking about strength. She's saying, yes, I am done. Why? Because it takes the strength inwardly to kill this lion. This ain't something I can do by hand. This is something I have to do by spirit. And she's like, I'm ready to handle this lion. And she's shutting the mouth of it. Your words mean nothing to me. Nothing you can say to me. She's closing the mouth of the lion. Your sweet talk, your flowers, your mouth, your words mean nothing. She is quieting the beast inside of her. And do I think she will go back? No, because she already said it's done and over. In any event, if she does, I will definitely be following it. But I'm sure it comes to a time where all of us must know when to say enough is enough. And that can be you. Whenever you are tired of being abused, be it physically, be it mentally, financially, when you are sick and tired, you can say enough and quiet the beast inside of you by saying it's time for me to what? Move on. And with that being said, sunflowers, thank you for joining us.